so I had this client and you know she very attractive woman and I don't mean that just in the sense of you know how she was born like she would always dress up look really nice you know wear the right clothes good hair she she um lives in Miami where I'm from I'm actually in Atlanta today for an event but you know I met her and I, I sat down I had this call with her and I started going through her business you know and sometimes you talk to someone and they look the part right they look like they're crushing it they look like they're doing well but I'm gonna have to see here because I'm in like some parking lot area they look like they're doing well but once you talk to them you kind of take the mask off and uncover what's really going on for them right and so I spoke to this woman she had 5,000 1040 clients she was doing a million a year in sales right hey I got a million in sales yippity doo dah right but the problem is they were all individual tax returns, right? So 5,040 clients. And you can do the math on the average. Not good, right? She had 25, 26 employees, something like that. 26 employees on a million in sales. It's insane. And, you know, she wasn't even making in terms of her salary, right? What she paid herself in terms of her salary and net profit. She wasn't even making a million a year. Or, sorry, 100,000 a year. Wasn't even making 100,000 a year. So, hey, you get to a million. Totally the wrong way to get to a million because you're not even making. You're not even making 100000 And so, you know, one of the things a lot of people don't understand is you've got to look at the clients that you currently have. Look at all of them and look at who's paying the most. Look at the top five, the top 10, the top 20. How do you get more of those? You know, if you have clients that are paying, let's say, $500, we'll make the math easy, $500 for, you know, basic tax prep, okay? And you get one client that goes through, does a tax plan, does tax preparation, does monthly accounting, does controller and C or CFO services, does wealth management. And let's say that client pays you $20,000, right? $20,000. You literally can get rid of 40 of those tax prep clients. So you can replace 40 tax prep clients to get one client at that level. So I find it funny, I was at this event, I'm listening to these guys and they're talking about marketing, and they're talking about how do they grow their business and they're trying to get more customers. They're trying to get more clients but they're not really trying to get the right type of client. And so one of the main things that we do is we try to identify, okay, specifically who do you wanna work with that's gonna be able to pay, what's a, a lot over a multiple years, right? So who's gonna be able to pay 10,000 a year, 20,000 a year, 30,000 a year, 50,000 a year between multiple services to get you the highest lifetime value of the client? And how do we get as few of those as possible to get, let's say a million in sales, right? You might have 30 clients if they pay 30 grand a year. Or you might have 50 clients if they pay 20 grand a year. So I'd much rather have 50 clients at 20 grand a year than have, you know, 5,000 clients at a couple hundred bucks a year. So it really is sad what you end up seeing when people go through and they just grow. Oh, I just got to get clients, got to get customers. And especially right now, tax season, it's crazy, right? People are coming in. It's like, you know, they're just coming in, just drilling 1040s down the gullet of this business. And you almost feel like you can't turn them away. You've got to set minimums. Okay, you've got to set minimums. Somebody comes in, minimum 750. You see that right there? Right there. 750 on an individual return, right? Especially if you've got too much work coming in, 750 on an individual return, 2,000 on a business return. And if you see somebody that has a business or a Schedule C, plop an hour, even during the tax season, sit down with them for an hour, do an assessment, charge them for the tax plan, tell them, hey, we're gonna do this tax plan. You can even extend them, so you file a little bit later, you can work on them in May, even for the 2019 return and finish the tax plan in May. So, you know, so many times during tax season, people just, oh gosh, I gotta get clients, they're coming in, right? But this is the best time, because there's such overwhelming demand for you to really sit back, set your pricing, there's that fever going on. And the fastest way to fire 10, 20, 30 clients is just to land two good ones. Land two good ones, all of a sudden you believe it. Oh my gosh, I could do it. So if you've never been able to charge those kind of prices, if you've never been able to charge 5,000, 10,000 for a tax plan, 20, 30,000 for a client, or you have, you're charging 20 and you just need to get more. I'm gonna put an application below. You go through, you'll see, uh, you fill out that application and you'll set up a time with myself or my team. It'll be 60, 90 minutes. And we'll go through and show you every single thing that we do to basically acquire leads and appointments, convert those. We have a deck presentation. We show the client the value, get them to see that working with you is an investment, right? There's an actual ROI. If you actually are offering value, if you're not, we'll teach you how to do that too, but how it's an investment with an ROI. And then we'll show you how to get that client onboarded, deliver the value and get them to pay more every single year. So I put the application below and I will see you on the other side.